right, so we've been working on the honeydew list inside the house this weekend. That's why there hadn't much, much for videos up, but uh, I had to build a box for the ceiling fan to go on the peaked ceiling in there. I didn't need one before, but um, this time I kind of need one because the trim plate's just too wide to fit up against even with a... Uh, if I put a box extension on there, it'll hold the ring so it's not flush. So that's how I had the old one mounted, and I don't want to do it this time like that because it just doesn't look the nicest. So we're going to build a box. It's actually finished and sitting right here in front of me. I'm going to take you through how we do it. There's not a lot of talking in this. It's pretty well self-explanatory. Didn't really measure much of anything. We just kind of winged it. I had some uh, poplar that I milled a long time ago. When we get down to the end, we're going to whitewash it or pickle it, however the hell you want to say it, but uh, stay tuned, I'll catch you on the other side of it.
So we'll use the table saw for this because it is the flattest surface I have up here until we can make a proper joiner's workbench. So I put a piece of half inch cabinet plywood in the bottom here as a spacer to hold it up. And just drop this in place. Well, if we can get it to go in straight, that is. Let's try it another way. Not the most perfect fit in the world, but, well, putty and paint make a carpenter what he ain't. Good thing this is all getting painted, so I'm not too worried about it. measure too much on this we just kind of went with it and I just kind of eyeballed stuff I used a sliding bevel gauge used a sliding bevel gauge to get it where I wanted it and we just kind of scribed and all that good stuff the only thing we measured really was this bottom piece of, of uh, cabinet plywood here
Alright, so that's her. There's our ceiling fan box. We're going to mount this hopefully on the next one. I don't know if I'll take the camera in for that. It all depends on how loud the house is. But uh, once we get this piece up there, we're going to be building out a uh, box beam to go on each side of it. It's going to be a fake beam and it's strictly there just for a trim out. It has nothing to do with any structure or anything like that. So we're going to build that out of some of the uh, big long pine scraps that we have here. We'll plane it all down, do all that. We'll do the same whitewash treatment on it and hopefully put it up without too much incident. So that's what's going on here. This week coming up there'll be some more barn stuff, there'll be some more housework stuff, and just whatever the hell else we are into. So I will see you guys on the next one.